Konnichiwa, Roxette here, and I'm back. I'm back with what? Um, I'm currently filming a short driving vlog. I am officially going back to the office just for today, and uh, I'm just gonna bring you guys along with me because this is probably the first and the last. <laughs> I'm not sure, but yeah, I... We're actually completely work from home, like in that sort of setup. So there's really nobody to go to the office anymore unless there's like in-person projects or if there's some sort of uh, technical difficulty with working at home for internet connection or some sort. It's actually raining right now. It's uh, currently 10.30, October 8th, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, we're gonna head over to the new office. If you've watched my previous vlog where I've shared with you our old office, yeah, so everything there is like gone now. And we're just, you know, opening up a new chapter. I actually kind of ranted before about this whole new normal thing and how I really dislike it, but life is what it is now, you know? Uh, there's really not much that we can do than to adjust and adapt because those who don't adapt will fall behind and... Okay, I'm just blabbering on. Anyway, I kind of need to navigate through my, uh, through where I want to go first, so let's go, I guess. Uh -huh. Wow, the other security guard sort of looked at me because I'm not wearing a mask, but I'm inside the car. I have a mask. I'm just not wearing it right now, and if they decide to stop me on the other gate, then that would kind of suck for me. But, yeah. <laughs> it's it's so bittersweet. I've actually been outside uh, last Sunday. I'm not sure if I uh, filmed it or something, but it's actually a close friend's birthday party. And it's such an honor to be invited. Like, the only few people who got invited, or maybe who were able to come. And it felt very intimate because you know there's there's not a lot of people and it's just the family and it's nice to feel included but what was I saying that was besides the point but I guess it was away from me I was gonna say that I don't go out much often anymore I mean I never really did but now that the option to go out is getting more and more limited it's just kind of hard so yeah I thought I'd just share that I have to focus on the road because well it's dangerous to drive and hold your phone so don't don't be don't be anyway um I'm on my way to the main road so I guess I'll stop here maybe I'll film later when it's much safer Wow, that had to rhyme, of course. Anyway, bye. That's the building. I'm at Fels Festival. There's a nice uh, watery place over here. That's landmark. I'm just gonna walk. Galamo <laughs> winter, no? Not really, but yeah, I'm on my way to the office. Oh. Okay, I look like a mess. Bye. That's the wrong elevator. And the correct elevator is hidden in here. Oh my goodness. Broken elevator. Let's go. Hey, sir. four. Let's go, people. Safe. 
sabi lang Y'all probably can't see me because it's dark or because everything looks red, but yeah. I'm sort of just tearing up a little bit in the car. But earlier was probably one of the last times I'm gonna see one of my good friends. Oh gosh, I'm tearing up already, but... Huh. I, I don't know, I'm, I guess I'm very sentimental when it comes to people I really care about. And it takes a lot for me to learn to let go. I can accept things pretty quickly because that's the way life is. But I tend to just hold on. I tend to linger just a little bit longer. Just before it feels real to me. Like in the stages of grief, I tend to get into the acceptance stage pretty quick. I'm someone who kind of does it in reverse. And so when it finally, oh. When it finally reaches, oh, okay, I guess I'll talk later. Or maybe, I don't know. When it finally reaches the end, like we're at that fir final first stage of denial, and that's the time, you know, it's kind of the complete opposite where um, I tend to handle it well in the beginning, and then it kind of, it kind of hurts me a little bit different later on. <laughs> it's still recording, isn't it? Oh my goodness. What's the matter with me? I, uh, I probably need to seek professional help, but that's my life right now. Anyway, back to the show. It's been a while since our last maybe vlog or driving vlog, if not vlog. It's so cute. And um, I'm on my way to the office officially for the second time because we have another production. And I thought I'd just take you guys along with me because I never usually go to the office. I feel a little bit awkward that I'm wearing, um, what do you call it, sunglasses or shades because I have this habit of like when I'm wearing spectacles in general, spectacles, I tend to like do this like as if I'm trying to see, <laughs> but it doesn't look nice with shades so I, I don't know what is to become of, <laughs> what is to become of this vlog, okay, I, um, uh... I completely forgot how to vlog in general, so bear with me and uh, let's just have fun, right? I guess, uh-huh. I've never, I feel like I've never driven with sunglasses before. Like when I, I feel like when I last wore my sunglasses, it was like on the beach. And it's not like the beach is the only place you get to wear sunglasses or you need to wear sunglasses. Because it's not like the sun chooses where it needs to go. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Okay, I'm just laughing out of out of being awkward because that is my coping mechanism to stress and I'm feeling a tad bit stressed out. I kind of forgot to uh, just a little bit quickly 
gonna pray for safety. Okay, let's go. It's my first time driving to work. Well, it's not rush hour per se, but it is pretty early. Like, it's around 7.30. My shift actually started at 7, so I just uh, got ready a little bit and just left straight for the office. So I can be there as early as I can. But my problem with being early is that if I'm too early, I'm afraid there will be like no parking parking space is open but according to my superior there should be a place that allows me to go to work this early and you know be able to park uh-huh okay I think I think I've talked enough I've talked enough I've talked for long I don't know actually I'm having problems with this um, sunglasses because I feel partially blind blinded <laughs> I think it's dangerous to like have these on I uh, I'm just gonna there's a biker with me I guess I don't know I'll take these off I look ridiculous and I can't see I should I'll probably wear it a little later maybe in the afternoon I don't know I think now is the best time to wear sunglasses but I don't want to get sunglasses tan why is the kid on the side of the road this adult Welcome to the traffic. Well, I'm fine with the traffic. It gives me a reason to just um, sit and chill on the road. But it's a little bit sad when you're alone. Because <laughs> you have no one to talk to. But if you're used to talking by yourself or to yourself, well, I guess it's fine. I'm an introvert, so I talk to myself 100% of the time, even when I'm talking to someone else. So this isn't really news to me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm distracted. Am I gonna go to jail for this? I don't wanna go to jail. <laughs> if you don't have a dash cam, and you do have a camera with a wide angle lens, it helps to use that because, well, you'll be able to see a better view of the road. Without, like, having to use dash cam. That makes any sense. People have been walking out and about without their masks as if there's no pandemic going on and I'm just freaking out because I don't remember there being an announcement that the world is um, safe from what's going on and like there's like no vaccine yet that's like available for the masses I... Mm, yikes Okay, so basically that's my office right there, but in front of me, I'm waiting for the parking place thingamajig to open, so I'm just like waiting here. It opens at 8, and it's like 4 minutes to 8, 
and considering Filipino time, I have no idea what time I'll be parked. So, there's that update. <laughs> Nice one. unboxing kaya? Magka unboxing sila ng isda. Hindi isda yun. It's Malaysian food. Asagin na, asagin na. Stop ko na yung recording na. All right. Thank you, thank you. Mo kaya naman mo kaya naman. Sandi na lang. Sandi na yung file to test. Ano format? Global. Ewong ko. May kita natin yung format naman. Alright, alright, alright. Bye. What's kare? We just finished production and... Hi! I'm on my way home. I was gonna record earlier about how tra how crazy the traffic jam was. But I couldn't because I was driving. <laughs> and I don't want to like put myself in danger. But anyway, aww. So that was my trip to the office. So if you don't see any clips of me sharing what happened in the office, we basically had a production day creating our second vlog. Second vlog for work purposes, of course. And um, it was pretty fun. I was the one who hosted. So I had to get my um, quote unquote vlogging skills. Awaken, awoken, what English is what? Mm -hmm. And it was a bit awkward at first, but it we we went ahead and you know did it all on almost one take. Because like you know it, it was I was pretty comfortable with the people and there was only like three of us there. It was my friend in marketing and our boss and our boss is pretty chill, so it was a kind of easy breezy to do. But if it were like you know the old days where it's like actual production, a lot of people, I kind of feel a lot more pressured. Oh, excuse me, I'd feel really pressured, and then I would like forget everything I need to do, and I'd feel awkward most of the time. Kind of why I appreciate all this. Um, social distancing we got going on i mean i really do miss my other friends but i mean i, I came to the office for work so that's pretty much it that's all the like update i have for you guys so bye i'm going home i am so sleepy if you can't tell my eyes just really want to like close oh calico mm. okay Bye, bye, before we get in any danger because of cats.